Another missed call. Another message. I can't bring myself to answer it. Why can't I just pick it up? What am I so afraid of? It's not like they hate me. They just want to talk. They care. So, why does it feel like every ring is a thunderclap, every message a weight dragging me down? And then, Professor praised me for my smartness. Okay just go up and say hi. They are your friends. They will be happy to see you. Hey guys. Guys, let's play games in my home in the evening. Huh? Maybe they didn't hear me. I should try again. Oh, that sounds fun. After my school homework I will be there. <coughs> should we call Wojak too? <laughs> yeah, why not? But I don't think he wants to come. <coughs> yeah, he never talks much in the class. He is quite boring I guess. I remember this. I was there, but I wasn't. Always on the edge, always observing. Never really part of it. People say childhood is awesome but, in my case, it was a nightmare. I want to be there. I want to be the friend they deserve. But every time I try, this fear grips me. It's like I am trapped in a cage of my own making. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow I will find the strength to reach out. To break free. But tonight. Tonight. I just need to breathe, to find a moment of peace in the silence. Yes I understand, the report will be ready by noon. I will make sure to prioritize it. Come on Sophia, hurry up. The boss needs this file in 10 minutes. Oh shit, I forgot to make copies of the final document. I must arrange all the presentation materials for the meeting. Everyone is so busy today. Emily, do you have the client's list for the new project? Wait Daniel, let me finish this talk. Okay. Thank you, I will be in touch. Good day sir. Here it is. Sorry for the delay. No problem. How will I handle it? A few inches later. Chad, can you double check the figures? I think there might be a mistake in the budget calculations. But I have checked it 10 times. There is nothing wrong with it. However, if a beautiful girl asks me to do something, I will do it for her. <laughs> Thanks, you are so sweet. Even I can't impress a girl like Chad. Team, let's make everything ready for the client meeting at 11. We need to be sharp. Our boss believes in us. We will not let him down, right guys? Yeah. yeah. It's too much. Too loud. Too chaotic. I can't focus. I can't breathe. No, no, no. I have to get through this. One step at a time. Just a moment of silence. Just one moment to collect my thoughts. Why can't I handle this like they do? Why do I feel like I am drowning in the sea of noise? Whoa Jack. Whoa Jack, you dumb fuck. Everyone is rubbing their ass off for the meeting and what are you doing here? Sleeping while working like a donkey. But boss, um, I was just... Shut up. I need you to come to my office right now. Oh no! No boss, wait. I pity Wojak, should we help him Zuma? My dad is going to rip his ass off. No, this time we should leave him in this situation. He has to overcome it. Let him be. Wojak, 
I have noticed you have been struggling lately and it's affecting your work. This isn't the first time I have had to address this with you. So, what's all this you dumb fuck? You are right boss. I can't keep up. I thought I was doing okay but clearly, I am not. Huh? I need to know what's going on. Why are you constantly on edge? Why aren't you meeting your deadlines like your other colleagues? I am sorry boss. It's just the noise, the pressure, it's overwhelming. I am trying my best but... Put your butt inside your butt. <coughs> Look you dumb fuck, I understand that everyone handles stress differently but, this is a high pressure environment. We need everyone at their best. If you can't manage, we need to find a solution. Have you considered talking to someone about your anxiety? It's hard. I don't want to be a burden. What? Put that burden in your ass. Unfortunately, you are part of my team and I want you to succeed, got it? Bah. Yes yes. Good. So don't just sit like a deer in front of the headlights. Overcome your shy nature and behave like an extrovert in my office. I hope you get my point. Yeah, it won't happen again. A few inches later. And then, get this, the client thought the mock-up was the final product and started promoting it. <laughs> huh? So that client was an asshole? Seriously? How did they not notice it was just a draft? Yeah, I mean it was clearly labeled mock-up in a bright red color. <laughs> boy. I think the client is mesmerized by the red hotties in front of him. Some people see what they want to see. Two big watermelons. Oh come on Chad. Please stop. Why would I stop? If I was him, I would ask you all out for a date. What? Wow, you are so fast Chad. Unbelievable. Chad is always ready with his pickup lines. Damn that son of bitch. Ah. Uh, then why don't we go out for a date someday? You with three of us hotties? Yes, yes it, it will, will be, be fun, fun together. together. You girls are also damn so quick to respond to a guy. Yeah, I thought Emily was good but I was wrong. Yeah, <laughs> boy. Because we are all open-minded here. This is normal in corporate world. They always have such a good time together. It would be nice to be a part of that. But I just don't know how to join. I don't want to intrude. Look at Wojak, is he able to handle these two? He should talk to them right now. Can he? No. He won't. I believe in him. This is part of his progress. He can sustain this phase also. I need to ask for directions. But what if they think I'm weird? What if they ignore me? Just ask. It's not that hard. Just ask. You can do it, Wojak. Excuse me? Huh? Yes. I am sorry to bother you. I need to get to 34th Street. Is it the right train? Yes, you are on the right train. It's just a few more steps. Thank you. I appreciate it. That wasn't so bad. I did it. Maybe I can handle this after all. <laughs> Hey, did you see that viral video? It's hilarious. Yeah. The one with the cat? So funny. These Gen Z kids don't know how to behave in public. Why would I worry about it? Leave it. Just a few more stops to reach. That's it. I will put that video in their Gen Z ass. Bruh. Don't focus on that boomer. Observe how our friend is surviving with his introverted nature. What do you think? Can he overcome it? The only thing that helps Wojak to remove introvert is my lovely beer because a beer per day keeps introvert nature fucks away. Yeah, true indeed.
All right team. We need to secure the high ground at the next circle. Kelly, build us a ramp. Mike, keep an eye out for snipers. Let's move. Got it, Wojak. The ramp is coming up. I am on it, scanning for enemies. Look, how confident I am in a virtual world. I wish I could be this confident in real life. Here, behind the screen, I feel like I can be myself. Good job, Sam. Now focus, we are almost there. Yeah, yeah. Let's do this. If I could bring this part of me into my everyday life, maybe one day, I will find a way. We did it. Great job, everyone. Nice work, Wojak. You know how to lead a team. Thanks, guys. That was awesome. Same time tomorrow? Yeah, sure. Huh? Hey Wojak, there is a party at my place. You should come. Yeah, it will be fun. We can finally hang out in person. Come on Wojak, it will be great. A party? With all those people? I don't know if I can handle that right now. I just need some time alone. Sorry guys, not feeling too well tonight. Maybe next time. I wish I could be more social, but it's just so overwhelming. This is more my speed. Just me and my favorite anime. No pressure, no stress. Maybe one day. I will find a balance. For now, this is enough. By the way, what is your favorite anime series? Let me know in the comment section. <laughs> Boomer, are you thinking what I am thinking? Yeah, the time has reached for Wojak. For an introverted person like me, this book is perfect. It makes so much sense. If only it were as easy to apply in real life. Smile more. Listen more. Make others feel important. I can do this. I just need to practice. Hey Wojak? What the fuck? He is so absorbed in his book that he doesn't notice that his friend's approaching. Damn that asshole Zima. He forgot how to call me. You called him by his name. You forgot something, you dumb fuck. I forgot what boomer. Oh shit, how did I forget that? Thank god. He remembered now. Shame on your ass Zuma. Bah. Let me call him with our protocol. Okay. Agent 69. <laughs> Hello guys. What are you doing? See, I have told you, I can do it. Yes, you have accomplished your task. Congratulation. Yeah, I know. It was quite an awesome experience for me. I know you can do it, buddy. I always believe in your skills. Thanks. We don't have much time left. Let's do your last procedure, Agent 69. Yeah. Yeah. So, my lovely trainees, welcome to the introvert support group. In short, ASG. <laughs> yeah, boy. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, as your trainer for the past one year, I proudly announce that your training period is about to end today. 
You guys have been playing your fake role magnificently. I enjoyed my task. I have learned so many things about introverts. Yeah, both advantages and disadvantages. After a long time, I got kicked in my spirit after doing this. We are glad you all enjoyed your task and gained a ton of experience. So, we would like to know your overall experience of being an introverted person. Like what have you learnt? For an introvert, it's like being asked to wear a mask and be someone we are not. Instead of being more extroverted, this forced socializing only leads to feelings of loneliness and disconnection. Oh man loneliness everywhere. The world we live in is designed for extroverts while introverts are often perceived as shy, awkward, rude, or even outright depressed. That's true. In job interviews, they view introverted candidates as less confident or less capable even if they have the skills and experience needed for the job. That's the harsh reality guys. That's the harsh fucking reality. How did they perform, Officer Booba? Yes sir. They have performed well. We will reach out to you soon. Okay, great. I'm waiting for you all. Hurry up. Guys, we need to go right now. Our chief is calling us. Okay, okay. The chief is coming guys. Here he comes. We are all excited to meet him. Yeah. yeah. He is the silent hero of the United States of America. Hello everyone. It's good to see you all. Hello, Hello sir. sir. For the sake of the country, every second counts. Boomer and Zoomer, your tasks are finished. You can go now. Let me talk to them privately. As you command, sir. Bye, have a great time. So, I have heard positive reviews of your training from Boomer. You all did an excellent job of pretending to be an introvert. By the way, what lessons have you all taken away from this training? I have found that being an introvert has made me a good listener. I am now good at focusing as well as observing patterns. Good. That's true. I think being an introvert has made me more observant. I notice things that others might overlook. I have learned to appreciate the small details in life. Fantastic. This is the type of officer we need in our department. Yes. And it's okay to need alone time. It's not a weakness to be alone by yourself. It's just how we function best. Absolutely. I have found that my alone time is when I am more creative. It's when I can come up with good ideas. Definitely. It's important to recognize these strengths and use them to your advantage. You have learned to set boundaries and prioritize your well-being, which has been helpful. Yes. yes. And it's about finding balance. I have pushed myself to step out of my comfort zone occasionally and while it's challenging, it's also rewarding. It's about knowing when to push yourself and when to take a step back. That's a good point. I appreciate that. Alright folks. Now I am fully aware that you three are ready for the next task. Are you guys excited for the next role to experience? <laughs> yes, yes sir. sir we are ready, we are ready. you can, count, you can on count on us that's the spirit boomer will assign you your next role your country needs your ass good luck everyone thank, thank you, you sir. sir bye have a great time agent 71 you are going to live the life of a beggar okay <laughs> Agent 70, you will work as a factory worker. Got it. And for me? For you Agent 69, your task is... Whoa Jack you dumb fuck, your salary is deducted by 69%.